I got a question in the comments the other day, and it was from X Luna the Galaxy Fox X. And he said he couldn't get the belt attachment off of his Bauer oscillating sander. So let's see if we can help him out. I'm Scott Bain, they call me the old farmer. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best use of YouTube. Learning. And if you can't find something, ask a question. I've done it myself and have received excellent answers. Just got this a few days ago. Both belt and spindle attachments work great. But today, I'm unable to remove the belt sander attachment. I loosen the nut and... Nothing happens. It just spins, but the belt won't come off. Any ideas? Great video, by the way. First of all, thank you. Thank you for watching, and thank you for asking a question about a problem you are having. To tell you the truth, I've never switched out the belt sander for any of the drums. It made me check mine out for issues. So let's start at the beginning and mention that some folks have an alignment problem with the table not coming up to 90 degrees. If it's under warranty, take it back. If it's not under warranty, a couple of washers under the table can shim the table to 90 degrees. As for the question from X Luna, the Galaxy Fox X, there are many ways to fix this problem. We will avoid those that are illegal or will disintegrate the sander. As you can see, I can't loosen the nut off my sander. When this happens, take some time to think the problem through. This was assembled in a factory. Chances are good that a machine tightened the bolt, or whatever you want to call it, to a specific torque level so that it won't come loose in shipping. Or possibly something got into the threads causing it to bind up if you've already swapped it out once and put it back together. If you're not familiar with doing things in the shop that takes it up to the next level, it can be a bit overwhelming to some. In this case, get a squeezy tool, such as pliers or channel locks, and wrap the head of your elected official in the towel and rotate it. Oop. Wrong topic. Wrap the head of the bolt in a cloth such as a shop towel or a rag. This will protect the head from being scratched up. Then firmly and confidently squeeze the head wrapped in the cloth with your squeezy tool. Do so firmly without trying to squeeze it to death. Turn slowly in a counterclockwise direction. If the wrench starts slipping, you will be able to apply a bit more pressure for a tighter grip. Chances are good that a quarter to a half turn will loosen the bolt and then you can unthread it by hand. If this doesn't work, then spray a few drops of thin oil, or as I use most time, a silicon spray to help loosen the bolt. Give it 5 or 10 minutes so the juice has time to seep through the threads. Then try the wrench again while using the cloth. If this doesn't work and it's still under warranty, take it back to the store. 
If it's out of warranty, then try a firmer grip through the cloth and use a larger wrench for more leverage. And if this fails, then get actual penetrating oil, drizzle some on the threads while being careful not to get any on the plastic parts. Four or five drops spaced around the thread should do it. Then tomorrow, try it again with the biggest wrench that you can beg, borrow, or steal. Remember, the larger the wrench, the more careful you have to be while using it. It could easily snap off the head, and then it will mean drilling out the bolt and running new threads while ordering a replacement bolt. I hope this helps and thank you for watching and asking a question. The more you do things yourself while asking for guidance, the more you will know for other projects. Knowledge will compound and soon you will have the confidence to do just about anything that's legal and maybe a couple of things that could be illegal. I assume your level of knowledge is much higher than how I explain things, but there are others just starting out with DIY and have barely passed the stage of identifying which tool is what. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. If I don't know and can't find the answer, I will admit it. If that's the case, then we learn together. Well, this is the old farmer, Scott Bain. Be well. Be safe. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel and thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.